Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our FanDuel uh, single game optimizer. Uh, I'm using baseball as an example, but they're all, they all run the same. So this is for FanDuel. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to the main tab here. Uh, this is the, the first time you're using the software, you're gonna, um, you put your login here, and then uh, re refresh the logins for the first time you use it after that your login will will be uh, active. Next, I also have instructions down here below which uh, you can read to uh, instead of watch, watching the video or if you forget what to do in the video. Uh, next thing you want to do is download the, ex the salaries from FanDuel. So you're going to want to go to FanDuel website and when you're on FanDuel you click on I'm doing MLB with a single game here. You're going to pick any tournament here. You're going to click on it and it's going to take you to the actual game here. And you want this button right here where it says download player list. You're going to click on that. And what it's going to do, it'll give you this player list that's going to come up right here. You're going to copy this and into the spreadsheet right over in into cell a1 on main there and now we've got our banding order we got all all the salaries here now we're ready to start to start running this so you were going to cho next to um, add the projections in here right now your pro projections are just from the last time being used you can go through here and manually type in your projections. Uh, maybe you might try if you want 14 or something. You can go through and manually type those in, or you can add them in from our projection tab. So what do you do when you go to this Your Projections tab? You're going to copy and paste them from whatever website that you use it, use it from. Maybe you use them from Daily Fantasy Nerd, or maybe you want to get free ones from, say, from Rotor Grinders. All you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste it in here, and this error just means they're not showing up. It's just because I've got a lot of players from games that aren't in here. If you want to just put game players from the, the game that are in here, it won't show an error if they're if they're come they're showing up. You can press add to projection tab, and there just added our projection. See how it overwrote um, my trot the 14 that we have in there. And now you're ready to run the lineups. Uh, you can choose. The uh, more variance would run quicker, or the least variance, which will run the slowest. Um, that's just basically how many lineups you're going to get when you, when you run this. And the less variance you get, you get just more of a little, little bit more variety of players. And here, when you run it the slowest, you're going to get more of the players that it that the your projections like. So all we're going to do is we're going to press the button to run the lineups. And what it's going to do is going to go through all the players, all the uh, batting order, and look at the salaries. And it's going to generate the lineups, which it did here. And so here are your lineups. If we can scroll down, you see it gives you a 1,000 lineups. And the top 150 get thrown into the CSV file here. If you're ready to export them, you just click export to CSV and it's going to create a CSV file. If you're not ready, you can kind of drill down by these filters. I've got the filters on here and decide which kind of lineups you want. So we start off with the salary. Here's the salary. I mean, it's got to be 35,000 or less. And here's the points, the projection, which um, starts from highest down to lowest. Here's where you can kind of change things. So here's the number of batters in the top four of your lineup. If you want, uh, if you want to filter on here, say if you want ones that have four or five batters because they're more likely to score more, you can filter those down. And count of the MVPs team. So here's the MVP team here. Uh, Garcia is on Tampa Bay, and that means the three. The count of the MVPs team means there's three people on Tampa in this uh, out of these five players. So if you want to more like stack. A team and say like, oh, I really think Tampa's gonna um, crush them today. I want to get four players in there, so I'm gonna click OK, 
And now so we got four players from Tampa Bay, or here is from um, the, from the Angels. And if you wanted to choose just one of the teams, you can filter by one of the teams. And then say you um, want to do these lineups, you can go to CSV, delete what you have here, and then just pick, say, oh, I only want these lineups. I don't want 150. You just copy and paste them in here. Now you can export to CSV, and you will get your new CSV file. Once you have that, all you have to do is go back into FanDuel and up, up your, upload your lineup right in the tournament that you're in, and you're ready to go. So I hope that uh, this helps explain how to use it. Again, if you're not sure on something, look on the main tab. I've got the instructions written down right here. It should be uh, everything that you need. Or um, send me an email and uh, email me with questions right here, excelbyjoe at gmail.com. And uh, we can go from there. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.